2021. A time of high fly cameras like the Arri Alexa 65, the Red Dragon X, the Panavision Millennium DXL2, and many more in a cinema landscape dominated by flashy space age technology. But what if? What if there was a camera that came before? What if there was a camera of yesterday whose ruggedness and refusal to conform made it an outlier, but also potentially the greatest of all time? I'm Yeggs. And I'm Boggers. And today, we're going to figure out if the Samurai KX Video 8 camcorder is still relevant in 2021. We're going to be putting it through its paces, putting it up against the big names, and testing its image, durability, low light performance, and resolving power. And at the end, we're going to evaluate whether it's worth buying in 2021 if you want to create beautiful cinematic images. Well, Yeggs, where should we begin? I reckon we should do some image tests. For this test, we put the Samurai against the Red. For fairness, we've made this a blind test, so you can decide for yourself which footage you prefer, if you can even tell the difference. We've labelled each piece of footage A and B, and we'll tell you at the end which is which. And just a note, to avoid bias, each piece of footage has been left ungraded. Did you pick your favourites? It's time for the big reveal. Yags? You ready? I'm ready. Camera A was the red. Wow, so camera B was the samurai. It was. Well, you know, even though I had a hand in putting together that footage, it still surprises me, seeing them side by side, how well the samurai holds up after all these years. You're not wrong. But before we go calling it, should we do some technical tests? I think we should. Should we try against the Ari this time? Sounds good. First up, sharpness. On one hand, we've got the Alexa 65, with 54 by 25 millimeter, 6560 by 3102 pixel ARRI A3X CMOS sensor, designed to have medium format Hasselblad inspired glass put in front of it. And on the other hand, we have the Samurai, with its classic and timeless 4 by 3 millimeter CCD sensor, designed to work with the custom versatile zoom lens conveniently housed within the body of the camera, which is a feature not commonly seen on the cinema cameras of today. Here we see the Alexa honing in on the target. Uh, some colour fringing there, a little bit of aberrations, but this might just be the difference between it winning the battle or the Samurai coming out on top. And here we have the Samurai. Just brilliant. Unrivaled sharpness in its time and still just impeccable. It's a close call. Maybe we should let you guys at home decide for yourselves. And now time for some low light tests to see how far the image can be pushed before it begins to fall apart. We'll pit the Samurai against the Panavision this time. With the Panavision's native ISO of 1600, this beast is designed with challenging low light scenarios in mind. And here it is. Impressive, but a touch noisy in the shadows if you zoom into 1000%, which is quite disappointing. Let's have a look at the Samurai. Gorgeous, true to life. You can make out some artifacts here, but I mean you really have to pixel peep. On the surface, this shot is just sublime. As part of our final evaluation, we've got a few more criteria to test the camera against to see whether it is truly seaworthy in this year of our filmmaking lord 2021. These are a series of tests devised in consultation with a group of experienced DOPs, directors and camera operators to see what the demands are from people in the industry. First up, as called for unanimously by our industry consultation group, Abrasion resistance. Abrasion resistance is a key design principle in cameras. This camera was able to withstand 1057 passes with the sandpaper before a hole was wore through. Second up, paramount to forming a working part of the ecosystem on a large set is a camera's child friendliness. Owing to its large size, a trait lacking in today's micro cameras, the Samurai cannot fit in one's mouth which makes it safe and not a choking hazard for children under three years of age. Very true, Yeggs. Thirdly, smell. Whilst many cameras are heralded for their silent operation, many of those same cameras get away with having egregiously offensive odors. So we put it to the sniff test against one of nature's keenest noses, that of the dog.
Fourthly, the DOPs in particular amongst those we consulted made it a point to tell us very emphatically that one of the most critical traits a camera needs to have is good mouthfeel. And we both agreed after extensive testing that it has a fantastic mouthfeel. Very smooth and not slimy. And penultimately, the industry group told us that the second most important trait a camera can have is its atmosphere. That's right. The power the camera has. Its raw aura. I have to say, after sitting in a room with that camera for a number of hours, I found its power unquestionable. So without too much further ado, the test you've all been waiting for. That's right. We've put this thing through all its tests and drawn all our conclusions. But we thought we'd put the Samurai through one last trial to show how the old differs from the new. With the advent of smartphones in the last few years and their fragile glass, we've entered an age where electronics can no longer take a good knock. So to show how things were built just a bit different back in the day, we've devised a bit of a drop test. So I'm up here on the roof of the Samurai. Boggers, he's down there. He's gonna film the entire thing, so you're gonna be assured there's no camera trickery involved. If the Samurai still works after this, it'll be in spite of this very real fall. Are you ready down there, Boggers? I'm ready, eggs. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. same cameras get away with having egregiously offensive odours. So we decided to put the <laughs> So silly. <laughs> Should I do that? Is that, a, is that a good bit? Egregiously offensive odours. We decided to put them to the Smith test. Who the fuck is Smith? and Weston. Thirdly, smell. What's... <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> How fucking stupid it is it? <laughs> <laughs> the smell of a camera. Many of those same cameras get away with having egregiously <laughs> Thirdly, smell. <laughs> Third Sorry. Thirdly, smell. <laughs> Are you just so excited? <laughs> <laughs> If I get one out, I'll be impressed. Thirdly, <laughs> many of those same cameras get away with having egregiously offensive odors. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> you didn't do the sticky oh. thing. Because <laughs> I was lighting up. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, sticky stick. <laughs> Forget it is. I'm not leaving until we get a sticky tape. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Thirdly, smell. Fuck. I need something like really not funny to happen. I need Nan to like fall down the stairs. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. What do you mean? <laughs> oh. uh, uh, go. Angus, so come out the place. <laughs> My theme are sticking out the, through my hip. Not now, not now, I'm filming. 